of why I like documentary, if I like documentary, I think I like documentary, but part of what I like about it is that in many documentary films we're forced to look at the relationship between the film and the real world. Documentary film doesn't give us reality. Uh, maybe there are people who think it does, but it doesn't. Uh, but what it can do is it can make us think about what is real and what isn't. You know, what is perhaps just an artifact of filmmaking or created in filmmaking uh, and what is real. So I picked each of these 10 movies with that in mind. Um, movies that are about that strange uh, dividing line between what is real and what is not. Einzige allein die Erbauerin und der Schöpfer, die Mächtige und Kukumat, sie, die Gebärerin und der Söhne Erzeuger waren da in den unendlichen Gewässern. Nur Ruhe war und Stille in Dunkelheit und Nacht. I became really interested in film when I went to the University of California, Berkeley. There was a place called the Pacific Film Archive and you could sit and watch movies. There are three different movies a day, sometimes four. And I watched a lot of movies. And, but the first documentaries that I saw uh, weren't direct cinema or cinema verite. Uh, I wasn't introduced to documentary by way of Grierson uh, or by way of the Maisel brothers. Uh, the first documentaries that I saw, and I remember this very, very well, uh, were Vertov's Men with a Movie Camera, um, Bunuel's Land Without Bread. Trois fillettes mangent un morceau de pain trempé dans l'eau. Le pain, jusqu'à ces derniers temps, était presque inconnu au Urdes. Celui-ci a été donné aux fillettes par le maître d'école, qui généralement oblige les enfants à manger leur morceau de pain en sa présence de peur que aussitôt rentrés chez eux, les parents ne le leur enlèvent. So here is a documentary which on some level could be seen as an anthropological documentary, a portrait of this strange town and its strange inhabitants. But added to it, these disparate elements, elements that are almost in conflict with the images, um, the Pasakalia, the fourth movement to Brahms's fourth, <laughs> wailing away on the soundtrack. Um, the narration, which is insane. Les Urdanos se couchent tout habillés en hiver. Ils portent leurs vêtements jusqu'à ce qu'ils tombent en lambeaux. Voici ce que dit cette femme. Il n'y a rien qui tienne mieux en éveil que de penser toujours à la mort. Réciter un Ave Maria pour le repos de l'âme de... Après un séjour de deux mois dans les Urdes, nous quittons le pays. La truth was never easy ever. Um, I mean, that's a discussion in and of itself. But... Uh, the idea that you can pick a style, uh, available light, handheld camera, and say that this is going to produce truth, that is one of the stupidest ideas ever. Yeah, I had to hear that interview. Yeah. I had my inner the blood to leg. Heel te maken. Midden in die dierentuin. In die natuur. Tuur. Uh, I was struck by the opening night film at IDFA. Uh, I, I didn't realize it, but the, I'm watching essentially a Ross McElwee inspired film, uh, which I included in my 10 
films. Um, how does Ross make films? Ross is a one-man film crew. He's there interviewing people behind the camera. The camera is always there. But Robbie, how do, how do you feel yourself about continuing to grow tobacco given that your mom died? Emotionally, I'm distraught that my mother's dead. I have not grieved at all. I have not come to terms with her death. But my growing tobacco has nothing to do with my mother dying. It has nothing to do with anyone who dies. I never really said this before, so I've been thinking about it. The best answers that I've ever gotten in interviewing people in the course of making films for quite a while now, they've never been in response to questions. They have always happened independent of questions and almost by surprise. LeMay said if we'd lost the war, we'd all have been prosecuted as war criminals. And I think he's right. He, and I'd say I, were behaving as war criminals. That was not in response to any question that was asked. He wears tan shoes with pink shoelaces, a polka dot vest, and man, oh man, he wears tan shoes with pink shoelaces, and a big Panama with a purple half band. <laughs> In a submarine, we go to drive in movies in a limousine. He's got a Port Liberty and a 12 foot yacht. Oh, but that's not all. Uh, so, when I say that I selected these movies to make you think about the relationship between reality and the movie uh, that was made, the documentary film that was made, is to tell you these films were all made in radically different ways. And yet, of course, they're all, in some you know, undeniable sense, they're all nonfiction, they're all documentary. Even despite the weird narration, despite the Brahms fourth, despite everything, there is this element of reality that leaks out everywhere. <laughs> 